to the studio again today. I'm Janice Baylor with you for another drop-in art session. We're going to create a really fun project today and I'd like to thank Perry County Council of the Arts and their participating sponsors for continuing to sponsor our virtual drop-in sessions online. Today we are going to make this cool valentine inspired by artist Alma Woodsy Thomas and we have some educational links uh, below if you'd like to learn more about her. So grab your supplies, your colorful markers, and let's get started. For today's project, you will need a pencil or pen, a piece of white cardstock, and a whole assortment of colorful markers or paints. To get started, we are going to make a nice heart shape in the center of our cardstock. So you can find something to trace. Maybe you have a big heart around your house right now because it's about to be Valentine's Day. Or you can just freehand sketch one, which is just by making a little point down there at the bottom. And then two scallops that come up and join the top. Okay, so there's my heart. And then we are going to color it in. So choose a nice big bold color. And today's project is in the style of Alma Woodsy Thomas, who was an artist primarily during the mid century, the mid 1900s. And she was an African American woman who was born in Georgia. And then her family moved to Washington, D.C., where she went to Howard University and became a teacher. And then she taught for many years in the D.C. area while she developed her art style. I'm going to switch colors here into a different red. And she became known for her puzzle-like patterns in her abstract drawings where she often had you know like a repetitious dots and dashes which we are going to create today and one of her drawings or paintings that I thought was so perfect featured a heart in the center outlined by lots of dots and dashes. So we're going to recreate that today. So here's our central image. And Miss Thomas, I'm going to come back and fill this in a little bit more while I tell you a little bit more about Miss Thomas. She really worked as a teacher for her career while she developed her art. And then she went on after she retired to become much more prolific. Obviously, she had more time when she was retired. And she had actually one of her very first gallery shows at the age of 75. And she is known as one of the most influential African-American female artists. She was the first to exhibit at the New York Whitney Museum of American Art. And her paintings were hung and shown in the White House three times. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, so now to get started, we are going to create rows of, or really like concentric kind of circles, or in this case a heart shape, around our heart. So choose one color, and we're going to work in one color rows. And then you want to just make little blocks of color all the way around. Just kind of keep a little space in between them. We're not making a, a filled in line, we're making more of like a thick dash line. Like a little swatch of color. Okay, so once you have your first row done, 
then you can choose a new color or you can do several colors that repeat and you want to come out and do the next line again leaving a little bit of white space in between them and creating those swatches of color that concentrically go around the image. I find this to be really relaxing. You can learn more about Alma Woodsy Thomas at the educational links below and view more of her artwork to get inspired. She's really colorful, so if you like color, I highly suggest it. And then you guessed it, we're gonna go for another row until we fill up the whole paper. So I'm gonna put that on fast forward so you can see what it looks like, but keep going. Woodsy Thomas inspired Valentine heart and you could write happy Valentine's Day in here and it makes a great beautiful art piece of colorful cheery artwork for someone for Valentine's Day so thanks for creating with me today friends bye <music>